Timu order. Looks like I'm so in love with it. I'm not. I'm pretending. All right. I added up this order. I only paid $25.06 for this order because I had a $16 credit. But you still spent that 16 because it was a return from something else you spent on. So you really did spend it. All right. So well, we're going to go through this order. Some of them are repeats because I loved them so much. But we don't know if I'm going to love them again. All right. Guess what I found? Yes. Let's see. I haven't opened it. It was in my denim jacket coat. I remember now how I put that denim jacket coat on just to run to Maverick or something and put this in my pocket with my phone. Let's see if I hadn't found it, how much money would I lose? Five, six, seven, seven dollars. That wasn't too bad. And how much cents? Not very much cents. But see, this is really old. And I cut, made a covering. This, this is my Thai silk. When my brother was in Thailand and my mother went to visit him and they brought me back Thai silk. So I used a little piece of the silk to make my purse, cover it, because the real fabric was worn out. And you could see how I sti just stitched a new cover on it to make it new again. So I didn't want to lose it. Glad I found it. I have $7 more. All right, now I'm gonna show you what else. I know you're anxious for the Timu, but got to show you something else. This is a hint of what it is. I finished it last night. I did it. I'm trying to get the glare off of it. It has a glass on it. Anyway, I finished it. The diamond art. How is it? Looks better far away. If you get it close up, the face looks a little weird. But from back, I'm so glad I finished it. So I vacuumed all my space up around here and got all the diamonds off the carpet and I cleaned it and cleaned my desk and <sighs> accomplished. I love when I accomplish a task, a project. So I know that my mother said she was a Gemini and that meant she didn't finish her projects. She would start them and not finish. Well, I'm in the last day of a Sagittarian and I finish my projects. I don't know if that's a Sagittarius trait or not. Or is it a Capricorn? Because I'm on the cups. Whatever. That's how you say it. But I don't really go by that. Because my sister and I were born on the same day. And we aren't that much alike. To be the same. Okay. Let me get settled here. So I don't drop stuff. Like my dementia sign. I'm going to be putting that after I wash the windows on my van. I'll put that up. Okay, don't know what it is, but we're ready for prizes. It, I think it's a makeup product. Looks to me like a makeup product. Of course it's not on there. Pure mineral powder, because you know, I want it to be like, what is that kind of mineral powder that we all ordered bare minerals and it was expensive, but we wanted it so badly. It is good stuff, but it does cost a lot. Have you tried bare minerals? And I love their sun tan, sunless tanning stuff. And it was so expensive, but it lasts for years. But I don't know, pulled this off. I don't know, oh, this is awful pale. Is it finishing powder? What is it? Oh, look. That gets you enough. Okay. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to be beautiful with this. I might be just finished. It just says makeup powder. But I must have ordered it like an afterthought. I'll tell you why. Because sometimes I have a, a very small order, like a couple things added on. That's not an add-on, but that isn't it because it's not here either. I'm sure I paid like less than $3 and I'm sure you don't care. I'll link everything below 
and then you can look it up yourself and know for sure. And it's all in little tiny Chinese writing. I don't even think the Chinese could read it. It's so little writing. And then I got this because it's supposed to give you energy for 99 cents. And, you know, I would really like Phentermine, but I can't get it because you have to have, a, it's a weight loss. But you can only get it once a year, and I don't think my year's up, and so I don't get it. But it really gives you energy to lose weight. I uh, lose about 10 pounds when I take it. Okay, here it is. Oh, look, I think they make them littler than they used to. Because I bought one for Jamie. I thought it was like this long. So this one is supposed to energy bar. You're not to eat it, though. Oh, I love it. Because it just gives you a... I need that for my nasals. I'm going to... The one I gave Jamie, I'm taking it back. He never used it. And I love it more than he does. That means I'm taking it back. This was so cheap. I already had one. So I... I even cleaned my drawers out over here and all this mess that was falling all over. I had in the bottom drawer down here, I had my thread, sewing threads. I mean, I have a lot of them because I professional sewed and you got to have color for everything because of the hems. And so I emptied that drawer out. And so in that bottom drawer, I can use it for some of this crap. So that was much better. All right, I got this. I'm probably going to give it as a gift because I already have one. It's a little chopper thing. And um, I love mine. And it doesn't have batteries. It has a UBC SB cord, whatever that's called. And it's already charged. So, you know, it's good for nuts. It's good for a lot of things. It would have been perfect for a baby when I used to, I made my whole babies, all of their baby food. We canned pears and peaches and I made my own baby food and I was just with it back then to be the best mother I wanted to. And then I, I another 19 cent brush. I have enough now for each room to clean the windows. What is this? They just gave me a plain empty one and threw it in there. You could have, I don't want it. You could have saved it. What are you going to do with all those? Oh, I, flip flops. Only reason I got them was because they're 288 and I just wanted some basic ones, you know, the basic kind that you wear everywhere, matches everything. Put them on, run. They can get wet outside. You can go to the show in them. You can go to the grocery store, the regular. I don't want any fancy stuff on them, so I'm glad I got those. I don't, note to sell. I don't need to buy any more. Oh, now these were 89 cents, I think. Oh, no, they were 58 cents. And I think they're supposed to be for nails. But you know, a brush is a brush. And I want it for my paints. Look at how all the sizes, these are little ones too, and all the sizes. So I'm gonna use them for painting, not make our fingernails. All right, I'm gonna tell you a story. This was, if this was a life-changing momentum story, then I'm gonna tell you. So pay attention. All right, my little granddaughter, Autumn, when she was little, she was probably about five years old. And, you know, we spent so much time together because uh, she loved me, I loved her. And she'd spend the night with me and sleep in my bed with me and we'd watch movies. And I would buy her cute clothes and sew for her and everything because she was this cutest little blonde thing ever. And she is like... Her and her brother are like 11 months apart. So, you know, they're really close together. So her mother let me have her anytime I wanted because <laughs> she needed a break. Anyway, so when she's about five years old, I said, Autumn, I want to paint so bad. 
I never have time. What should I do? And then she just looks at me and she goes, Grandma, just do it. That was the best advice ever. If you're procrastinating or if you're just having some excuse why you can't do something or you just, I don't have time, just do it. And, you know, that's the only thing you need to hear is just do it and don't let anything else come in the way. So I think of that so often when I go, oh, I wish I could just do it. That was her answer to everything when you're a child. All right, a repeat purchase because these are so cheap and so good. And now they're not cheap anymore, but they were 93 cents. And I'm going to put these in my RV because they are good scissors. And I don't think I have a good pair out there like this. And I'm a scissor person. I have to have scissors wherever I go. These feel so nice. So, my RV. I'm getting a pack, a pile of stuff for my RV. I showed a little tour of my RV. So, next. These were because they were 97 cents. Because we have a lot of birthdays coming up. And these are balloons that are gold with, they have the stuff inside them. So when you blow them up, they have confetti in there. That'll be fun for the kids. So I got some balloons to keep on hand for the parties. We never know. We always, oh, let's have a party for them. So let's see, it's April, May. We have three parties in May. Oh, and here's for Credence. He's going to be so happy to have his <coughs> gemology stones <coughs> from all over the world. Strawberry crystal, labradorite, tiger eye, lapis. I know that one. Sandstone, garnet, topaz, fluoride, aventurine, Crystal, red juniper, rose quartz, chameleon, amethyst, purple agate, citrine. Anyway, I Jamie would like one of these because he's a real jewel, you know, gemologist. He loves all those rocks and stuff. I only like diamond rocks. And I got this for both of them. I got two of these for Jackson and Credence. It's like a boy necklace with this rock hanging. Some kind of rock. I don't know what kind. Does it say what kind of rock it is? Rocket? Rock it is. It's a Madagascar mineral specimen for $1.28. So. And it, it's not a chain. Every time I give them something on a chain, they break the chain. So they can't this time. And I have, how many did I get of these? Because they were 17 cents. Maybe I lied. I'll look it up. They were, I, I didn't. It's the truth. I'm telling the truth. 17 cents. And they're nice. Hand carved. Plastic wood. Yep. Elephants. 17 cents. You couldn't make it for that. So how many did I buy? I bought four of them. I'll probably give them to Trevor for his classroom for those kids. And I'll give one to Jamie. And I'll give one to me. Another cleaner for 17 cents. One was 16 and one was 17. It's okay. I'll take a penny anytime. I'll tell you another story. One time I'm walking down the street with my daughter, Emily, when she was little. And she, there was a penny on the ground and she picked it up. And then she said to me, Mom, why do people always throw away pennies? I said, uh -huh, I don't know. They're not worth much. She goes, no, Mom, pennies do buy. So ever since then, that's been our family saying, Pennies do buy. 
And they do if you get enough of them. And so, you know, waste not, want not. Just do it and pennies do buy. We learn so much from little children. Now, what is this mop supposed to do? 36 degree rotating telescope spin, 319. Well, it was cheap enough, but how, oh, there we go. Cause you know, I have tall ceilings. That doesn't come off. It's not a very, is that all it telescopes to? <laughs> Well, this isn't for tall ceilings. This is for a normal ceiling or maybe a mop. But what is it for? It is high absorbent chenille, multi-surface, compatible, adjustable handle, easy ring for efficient cleaning. I need efficient cleaning always. And here's the little thingy that comes with it. So for $1.39, I think I'll put this in my RV because I can clean the windows, dust with it, everything. And it matches my RV. And the handle will be the perfect length for the RV. Now, I when I first got my RV, I loaded it. I stocked it up for camping, for bug out, for everything. And then it was so miserable because you couldn't get to anything because everything was so crowded. So when I got home, I took everything out that we didn't, because then we went to Florida and it was like, I didn't have any room to shop and put anything because everything was crowded so full. So I learned from that trip, don't take everything. Now I was hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, I still don't know yet. I'm hoping these will be nice because I want to take them to Oregon on my trip. They're slides. And they're cushy. And I'm hoping. I'm going to try one on and let you, let you know. I have socks on. But yes, they're the perfect width for the foot. They're not too fat. And they have this right here for your toes. So you can't slide through, I bet. I like them. And they're cushioned right here. Right here, they're cushioned, see? Because I paid four seventy seven, dollars and they're trying to look like Chanel Louis Vuitton or something. Everybody knows if it's I'm wearing it, I didn't buy a Louis Vuitton Chanel. I don't know if I was rich if I even ever would, because I just am too sensibly cheap. All that good money spent, $1,200, $2,000 on a purse? Are you stupid or what? And who was the guy? Oh, I'm glad they're different. This one's a little different looking than the other one. And it's like, all that money could go to something more needable, sensible, like food or a cruise or something. Just think about it. Weigh it. Okay, $2,500 for a purse over here or a cruise over here. Which one are you going to do? Cruise for me. I'll just take the $10 purse. How about a $3 purse I'm going on the cruise? I am i don't care what people think of me. If, you know, oh, she's rich. Look at that purse. That doesn't matter. It's not how you tell if somebody's rich anyway. Look at Jamie. He dresses like a homeless person. And he's the richest man I know. If he sold everything. All right. Here it is. It's going to be another swimmer. This time the feet go. Oh, great. We're going to have to do another little show in the hot tub with the kids. I love it, though. I love my little chill, my little helpers. I think they're coming after school today. Credence wanted to because, you know, they were gone on their spring vacation trip. And I'll have to show. I think I can show you. Here's what he said. He doesn't have a phone or anything. He just has like his iPad or something. And Credence sent me this message yesterday because he got home. Look at this. Hello. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing? <laughs> that was so cute. So I said, are you home? And then he said, yes. I and mean, then he had spelled it wrong. So he spelled it right then. Isn't that cute? Oh, he was so happy to be home, so he wants to come after school today to see me. 
another pair. So I got two pair. Well, really, I have three pair or four pair now. I'm going to put this in the RV and this one downstairs, and I already have one up here. So, anyway, those little grandchildren, they just do so good for me. And, you know, if I had to live my life over, and I'm shocked I say this, I would have had more children. Because when you're old, that's the only thing that you live for. If people don't have a posterity, I, I guess you just have to have more friends than. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Because, you know, what if you couldn't have children? Or what if you they all died and you're alone? And so you would just have to find your dog and your friends more. Would mean more to you. Whereas they wrap this up good, whatever it is. They didn't want this to break. I don't know what it is. It's like in a tissue. What is it? What is it? Oh, wow. I can just see him in the factory wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it. Oh. Oh, I still don't know what it is. I think it's one of his gemstones he ordered. Yeah. Dollar thirteen. One piece. Natural zirconium mineral. Oh, it's beautiful. It doesn't do much for me. If it was a necklace or a little dollhouse thing. Hope he likes it. Jackson, I got it for you. Jackson, I got your minerals. He watches them sometimes. Anyway, they're so cute. And I got two more of these because they're so nice. And they were only um, $2.03. Hardcover Magic Journal. And it does say magic spells on it. But I'm just going to put one of my stickers over the top. I have a sticker right here. Look. I'm just going to put this sticker right here. Over the top. It won't even say. But I'm giving this to tri to Trevor. Because I think it's Spanish. It says, Dois is la fortaleza de mi corazón. <laughs> I speak a different language. No, I'm going to show him and see if what if he knows what language it is. Anyway, but these are nice paper and books. So, write down your wish, and this magic book is going to help you. That's what it says. But you had to get this color for the cheap price. But... I can have three volumes. I can write my life story in three volumes. So, am I going to? No. I have some journals I used to keep when I was young and first married and stuff. And when I read through them, I hate it. It brings so many bad memories for me and so many. I feel sorry for myself and I feel sorry for I was so poor and I had to live like that and I missed my mother and pregnant and oh just reading it it's just bad memories for me a man that didn't love me and having to live with that and he would tell me he didn't love me anymore and I wasn't desirable to him you know what that does to this person when they tell you all that kills you he did that he would always tell me, you're undesirable to me. I look at the girls on the street corners. I lust after them, but you're not desirable to me. I would never say that to anybody. Hurt their feelings. Hurt my feelings. No one else will want you. Well, I found two other men who wanted me. So there. Anyway. So if you know somebody who is with some, a man that does that to the woman... You just take that woman aside and you tell her a thing or two that a million other men would love to have you. All right. These are pants for my trip. And they were $12.31. Roll up Bermudas. See, like, I, like to, I, I like my shorts to be long like this. Because I told I told you before about this problem I have. People go, oh, your legs are really nice. My ankles, my ankles are doing good. 
And as you go farther up, the calves are okay. The knees are okay. I don't have fat knees. They're okay. But as you go farther up, the body starts looking worse and worse. So, like, inner, do you guys have this problem? If you're young, you're probably going to have this problem when you get old. Inner thigh, upper inner thigh, jiggle, jaggle. So, I like my pants long like this. So, that's what these are. But I got black ones because I have so many black shirts. But these inseams look really, they're going to be capris, maybe. Now, learn your measurements. This is what I tell everybody. I'm looking for my tape measure. It was right here. You need to learn your measurements because you don't want to have to keep taking them all the time. I found this. Okay, I got it here. I'll tell you what I did. The smartest thing I did. Right here. I'll show you. My diamond art. Remember these were 88 cents. I have one for my makeup. Well, this one, I have two others. So I got it out. And I have all my diamond art supplies in here. All this stuff. And it all fits in here nicely. My stickers for the things. And so, this... But I need to put on here, I need to mark this one. I'm going to put a sticker on here, diamond art or something. So I'll keep them apart. All right. Know your inseam. I know I like at least a 10-inch inseam to fit to my knee. Oh, this is 15. They're going to be capris. And I got a size. Always look at your measurements. I got a size 14. Surprisingly, that fits me compared to my bust. It's like I've heard other women say too that they can't order like a swimsuit top and bottom separate because, and this always happens to me, I have to get a large fit at the top, then the bottoms don't fit. They're, the legs are too fat and I have gaposis in the swimsuit. So then I always have to sew in the legs for the pants. So anyway, do they stretch? Are they nice? Yes. I hope I like them. I might have to cut them off and hem it again. Now these are rolled up, but they're stitched so that they will not unroll or you have to roll them new every time. But, and they do have, they did stitch it and have a, a somewhat of a hem underneath the roll. So... I'm planning my outfits, but last time we went, last year about this time we went. So I thought, you know, we have snow here. It's going to be beautiful in Oregon. So I took all of these cool clothes, short, you know, the cutoffs and the shirts and stuff. When we got to Oregon, it was freezing. And so I had to go to Walmart and buy a long sleeve shirt and socks or something because my feet were cold. Sunday at church, I saw this one lady wearing sandals to church. Two, two ladies, actually. There's snow on the ground. It was snowing that day. Don't their toes get cold? They must be better than me. My toes freeze. But anyway, so this time I'm going to make sure I have plenty of room. I'm going to make sure I take warm clothes and cool clothes. Because it's so damp when you get to the ocean. We have such dry temperatures here. But the ocean is such damp weather that it's a cold dampness. It's cold. Here, it's a dry coldness. And there's a difference. If you don't believe me, go try it. All right, what's next? All right. Oh, these are... Oh, some earrings. What color did I get? I can't tell by looking at them. These were... Only, oh, to match my pants. They're black. I always have troubles getting a black, good black earring. But I find on trips, I'm just going to wear the little Moissanites in Sterling. I can wear them all the time. These are my favorite kind of earrings, though, because they have this kind of a, you know, clasp opening and clasp, so you don't have to lose the backs. And they're black. I got black ones. Black and gold. So these will be cute. 
And when you shake your head, do, 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 they'll be noticeable. Okay. All right. I think that's all. So I'll show you what I'm doing now. Since I got monetized and I have to keep track better of stuff. So, I have this little book I got at the used place. It's such a cute book because it has pages and pockets. So, I can keep my receipts that I need to keep for my expenses. And then I can write down in the back. Don't tell Jamie. I'm writing down his health journal. So, what his blood pressure is and, you know, how he is handling his health issues. Because, you know, the dates and stuff. You forget all that. I need to... So, I'm writing that down. Then, um, I'm writing the expenses going out and money coming in. Because I have not been living on a budget. I'm ashamed to say. I have just been acting like I'm a billionaire shopping like a billionaire. What's their saying on Temu? So, now I'm going to be a smart uh, person and keep track of everything. And on my trip, I'll keep, I have to keep all my receipts and everything. And I'm in a video and show you. We have been, see, when, when I married Jamie in 95, we would go out there to see my parents, like, at least twice a year, at spring break and in the summer when school got out. So let's figure that out. In 29 years, sometimes we even went more times, but 29 times two. This is just 58 times we've driven out there and back. So we know we've gone on every different highway you could possibly go. We've gone at every time. Sometimes we traveled the night. Sometimes we spent the night places. Sometimes we went on the Columbia River, all of that way down over to Portland and down. And sometimes we went clear down to Denio and um, what's that? Winnemucca. And over that way, we've gone every way possible. So we know the best way now. But now you have your GPS, so it makes it so handy just to see how far and how long you'll be there and everything. So we go up the coast, Highway 101, the prettiest uh, drive ever. And well, first we drive through, go to Burns, down to Bend. Well, I'll back up first. When we leave here, we go to Pocatello first, Pocatello, Idaho, then straight Pocatello, Idaho is wonderful, straight freeway. And you could go 80 all the way over to Boise, Ontario. We spend the night there. Then we go down to Burns. One time we went as far as Burns and spent the night, but we're not in any hurry this time. And then we go to Bend. Bend is a lovely town, but it's getting so crowded that you don't want to move there. And then you drive to Grants Pass, Medford, and then to the coast. And then it's beautiful weather. See, Brookings, Oregon is on an inland a little bit. So you get nicer weather than Crescent City is on the outside. Crescent City is where they have Pelican Bay Prison, where, you know, you've heard of horrible people going there. And a lot of people we know and relatives worked at Pelican Bay Prison. We won't be visiting there this time, though. But before they opened it for the prison, I got to go on a tour of the prison before they got the prisoners there. So that was cool. It's all cement. And then um, we will go. I don't know if we're going to go that way first or we'll go up to um, Salem first, Salem, Oregon. And my son lives up there. And we'll see, visit him first and then drive down. And then my brother lives in Coos Bay, Oregon, which is right there on the ocean. He lives on the bay. Beautiful. I'm going to film it all. You will just love it. And then, so anyway, that's our trip where we always do the route. We have three people to go visit and to stay with. So it's going to be fun. And I don't have to, you know, they all are my family. So I don't have to worry about what I weigh, what I look like, how old I'm getting, my wrinkles, my hair gray. I don't have to worry about any of that because they're family and they love me even if I was back in the wheelchair again. So, um, and I love having our little bedroom in our RV and they go, you could stay in the house if you'd like. No, 
we have our bedroom out there, our bathroom. I'll come take a shower in here once in a while, maybe, but we have our little room out there and our beds and all our stuff. You know, when you get old, you really have a nest by your bed, all your nasal spray and your medicines and your, and your, you know, everything that you'd use, your plug-ins, everything by your bed. My sister right now is on a cruise to, I don't really know where, maybe like over off of Florida or somewhere. Anyway, she's down in the Gulf down there somewhere. And then it's her birthday today. So happy birthday, Shauna. If you see it, you won't see it, but I didn't forget. I didn't even mail her her present or anything because she's not home. And then um, I had to say hi to Rob. Hope your gout's better. A shout out to Rob. He has gout, painful. You can't even walk. Oh, he better get better because I'm coming to see him. And we like to go on a picnic down to the beach. And then um, who else did I need to say hi to? Jackson and Ellie, because they watch. So those are my biggest fans, I think. Carolyn and Rob watched. She said she's watched every show. So that's a big compliment. Since I've made over 400 videos, if you haven't watched my previous videos, you could spend like about three months watching them because when I started on November in the middle of November is when I started my YouTube channel. So I'm doing good and we're going to have the giveaway because I'm, I'm getting close. Let's see how many views I have now. How many subscribers I have? I don't know. I didn't look. I got to switch my account to my material mom account and then I have to go to me and view the channel and see 4,850 subscribers. Now I'm trying to get, when I get to 4,900 subscribers, I'm going to have the giveaway. So you just write in the comments why you think I should consider you to be the winner. I might have two, two boxes of giveaway. So I'm collecting the stuff and putting it aside to get ready to mail. So um, anyway, we're going to have a giveaway and it's my appreciation giveaway. I want to get to 5,000 is my goal. When I get to 5,000, I will feel like I have made it in life. I've accomplished in my YouTube world. I have made my mother proud. I don't know. One person said my mother would be embarrassed at my videos. She would not. My mother loved me. I know my dad would have loved him. He would have been watching every single one. But I don't know what my mother would think. But she would love the teaching ones. I know. The things that I teach you how to make the rag quilt, the yo-yo quilt, the embroidery, all those things I showed you. My mother would love that part of it. But maybe she wouldn't love the front butt part. But my mother knew me better than anybody, and she knows me, how I can be silly and corny and everything. So, you know, she would be impressed that I did this, and I got out of my shell, and I have some backbone now, because she always, growing up, how, Angela gets a backbone. So I do have it now, because I'm 69. Okay, I want you all to have a good day today. Have fun doing something. Go outside and breathe the fresh air. We have good air here and good water from the springs. The uh, geyser. We have a geyser that comes out of the mountain. It stops and goes in the September months. But it it is, you could go online and YouTube and look at the Afton, Wyoming geyser. Intermittent springs and that's where our water comes from, and it is the best water around. We don't have to buy water. We can drink it right out of the faucet, but we have a well. We can just drink our water. And my husband grew up here, and his teeth are so hard because of the calcium in the hard water, I think. He has good teeth. They're yellow on him when she was little. Grandpa, why are your teeth yellow? Yeah, Grandpa, why? <laughs> he doesn't drink coffee or any brown liquids. So I don't know why he must drink yellow liquids. No, he drinks milk. He's starting to get a bump right here, you know, calcium bump. His mother had those gnarly hands. I don't, 
it's hereditary. I don't have the gnarly fingernails, finger joints like some people get, because it's hereditary. But, and my mom and my parents, grandparents didn't have it. But Jamie's mother did, and he's starting, and he says it hurts. Do you guys have them? He said, ooh, it hurts. I said, just hammer that down. Is it going to start coming on the other fingers too? But Jamie's hands have never been so soft and clean because he isn't doing all that outside work. And I mean, he used to, his hands were so rough. He didn't have to scratch your back. He just rub it. And his hands were so rough, it scratched your back for you. I loved it. But now his hands are soft. He could be a dentist. Goodbye.